Hi, my name is Colleen and I make art tutorials. Subscribe. So when we're coloring skin, the first thing that we would do is to find a base color. A message from future Colleen. Okay, so this is the first thing that you should actually do. Select the light source of your character. So in this artwork, the sun is kind of like up in here and it's shining down on her. And so if we're coloring anime skin, the skin tends to range from here to here, just anywhere between these ranges. So I'm just going to select one right here and then a bit here. We would want to choose a lighter color for the base color. And then we're just going to fill the skin with the color that we chose. Bam. Now that's what you call real talent. Okay, so now that we have our base color, we're going to go ahead and select another color. Okay, so I'm just gonna explain to you guys what this is. So I literally just learned this five minutes ago. I've been using this for many years now, but I only knew the names now. So this right here, this circle, this is called the hue wheel. And what it basically does is it adjusts the hue. And this little square here, this is a... Uh, it, maybe it's a color square? I have no idea. But anyway, it allows you to choose saturation and the brightness. So if you go from here to here, you're adjusting the brightness. And if you go from here to here, you're adjusting the saturation. So if we're going to pick a secondary color, the first thing that we would do is to eye drop. And then we're going to slide our hue all the way down here. Just a little bit to the left so that it's a little bit warmer. And then we're going to raise the saturation just a little bit like this just to make it a bit warmer. So I'm going to select the airbrush tool. So I chose a huge size for my airbrush and I'm going to brush over this part and then this. Okay, so actually this is the wrong color. Okay, I'm gonna eye drop it again. I'm gonna make it a bit more saturated because I chose the wrong color a while ago. I'm just gonna brush it along this area. So as you can see, it made the skin a bit more gradient. Just to add a bit more warmth, I'm gonna put some below the eyes, on the ears, on the nose, and on the lips. So now for our third color. So for the third color, it's gonna be a bit darker. Just remember this guys, if we're choosing a darker color, you might want to just slide the hue a little bit right there. Or maybe right here if that's what you prefer. And then we're going to select like this deeper color like this. So it's slightly just darker and deeper but we're not going anywhere here because as you can see this part here if you were to choose a darker color in this part it's just really saturated and bland and that's not the mood that we're going for in here. It's gonna make it a bit muddy like that and you know that's not what anime is about okay. Anime makes you feel good. So we're really gonna go for a really warm color. Something like this. Okay, yeah, that's a perfect color. So what I'm gonna do is brush it like this under the neck. We're gonna airbrush this. Basically just brush along this part. And then I'm going to use a hard brush. So I'm basically just going to make... So I'm just gonna make a really subtle shadow like this. I'm gonna eye drop this shadow again. And then I'm going to shade the skin beneath Okay, so this is looking pretty good so far, but there's still something missing, and that is the reflective light. Basically, in the deepest shadows, like for example this part right here, you put like a bunch of reflective light. You know what guys, I have literally no way of explaining it, so I'm just gonna demonstrate it right now. I'm going to eye drop this color right here, and I'm going to slide all the way to this pinkish color, and then select slightly brighter color like this. I'm literally just gonna brush it just a little bit like that. So as you can see, it's really subtle. Like, can you see this? I'm also going to airbrush the shadows beneath the hair like this, but only very subtly. So there's kind of a purple-ish hue going on. So now let's go back to the face. I'm gonna eye drop the original base color and then I'm going to use a hard brush to just define this shadow right here because this is kind of supposed to be like the under eye. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. And also, this is also really, really important guys. How do we make the lips juicy, okay? This is a very important step. Just eye drop this color and then go over to this part. Just choose a really saturated color like so and then use an airbrush. So we're going to just brush over this part very lightly. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to slide again right here 
and then choose a very light color and then I'm gonna add little dots like this so then I'm gonna shade the eyes And lastly, we're going to add the blush. Okay, so just use an airbrush and then I drop this base color. And then again, we're going to choose a warm color. And I'm going to select a huge size so that I only brush it once like this. So this is really subtle, but it does the trick. I'm going to use a hard brush just to like add a couple blushes like this. And for the finishing touch, I'm going to add highlights. I'm going to eye drop this again and I'm going to choose a really light color. I'm going to add it here, 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 and somewhere here. So yeah, this was the anime skin tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a like and I'll see you in the next video. Stay cool!